السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته رجعنا لكم مرة تانية to discuss the microscopic urine analysis النهاردة we will discuss the red blood cells the red blood cells are smooth and non-nuclear cellular element so the RBCs has no nucleus and can be present in the urine for two reasons either pathological reason or non-pathological reason The RBCs are moderately refractile and can appear differently depending on the following. First, microscopic viewing. Second, condition of urine. Third, is pathologic condition present. So, for microscopic viewing, you have two different view. Side view, it will appear like a biconcave disc, while top view it will be appear like a circle as you see here this is a top view of the rbc the second condition of urine in the condition of urine if the urine is hypertonic this may affect the size and shape of rbcs in hypertonic urine the water will go outside the cells and the cell become smaller shrinkage and protrusion or speckles will appear on the cell wall as we see here in the image speckles on the cell wall this is because of the hypertonic urine and it is called crenated cells while in hypotonic urine specific gravity will be low as less than 1.01 the cells begin to swell as they will take water inside and lose homoglobin this will cause rbcs to lose their characteristic biconcave shape and if the cell remains intact and loses all its homoglobin it will referred as ghost cells as you see here the cell become swollen and lose the characteristic biconcave shape and all homoglobin will be lost and this is called ghost cell to detect ghost cells we need to take care about the light if it is too bright you will miss identification for the ghost cell you know you need to adjust the light little low brightness so you can detect this ghost cells in case the specimen is diluted and or the pH is alkaline this means more than seven the RBCs and white blood cells may lies affecting the accuracy and the count of the cells under microscope therefore it is always important to use fresh urine specimen as soon as possible uh, properly preserve to avoid the physical changes in RBCs and white blood cells Normal urine may contain a few RBCs, 0 to 5 per high power field. And if it is increased, normal or abnormal shaped RBCs, they may suggest a disease state. If normal shaped RBCs, which is called dysmorphic RBCs, these dysmorphic RBCs are particularly characteristic for glomerular source of bleeding so glomerular source of bleeding will show dysmorphic rbcs such as acute glomerulonephritis dysmorphic rbcs exhibit biclocytosis changes in shape and tendency towards the formation of protrusion similar to those seen in acanthocytes presence of increased number of normal rbcs may also associated with non-glomerular source of bleeding so non-glomerular source of bleeding is associated with increased number of normal rbcs while abnormal rbcs is associated with acute glomerulonephritis for normal rbcs increased may be associated with kidney stone tumor of the kidney and infection the white blood cells Neutrophils are the most common type of white blood cells observed in urine sediment. The size of white blood cells is 
much bigger than the RPCs. As you see here, this is the RPCs size and this is the white blood cells. And as you see, the multi-lobed nucleus and the cytoplasm is granular. Normal urine may be contain up to five white blood cells per higher power field. The exact number may be vary between the laboratories. An increased number, as we see here in the image, increased number of white blood cells is observed in inflammation and bacterial infection of the renal and urinary tract infection. The presence of white blood cells clumps, as you see here, this is a big clump, should be noted as it will affect the total semi-quantitative count of the observed urine sediment. When the specific gravity of urine is less than 1.01, this means hypotonic, and the pH is alkaline, as we mentioned before, the neutrophil may swell to a larger than normal size. The cytoplasmic granule will have a sparkling appearance and brownian movement may be observed. These are sometimes referred as glitter cells, but these cells have no pathologic significance. Glitter cells stain light blue with the stern hymer melbin stain. Should not wait more than two hours to check the urine sediment okay, at room temperature. Otherwise, the white blood cells may lie and affecting the accuracy of the urine. Xenophil, rarely seen under microscope and may be seen in acute allergic reaction like medication reaction including the antibiotic with non-steroidal anti-inflammatory anti drugs may be seen in urinary tract infection but it is difficult like lymphocyte and monocyte it is difficult to distinguish neutrophil lymphocyte and monocyte okay under wet mount next video will discuss bacteria yeast and parasite so share like and subscribe to see the next video wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh